All right, all right, shalom, shalom. I want to start off this video by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Rechakotash. Double honors to my elders and apostles, a great millstone, which are the men that rule well, men who taught us his truth, peace, blessings, salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, the true Israelites are so called Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians, and those of you that don't have the typical look of an Israelite, but you believe in the 100% truth and in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh you'd have to be an Israelite as well, man. All right? Because um, it's not about how you look. It's about if you believe in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, and the 100% truth, man. All right? And, you know, just wanted to go in real quick. Um, Lobo in the title will be Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the lineage. All right? Which, you know, uh, the inspiration from the video came from, you know, comes from, you know, uh, Kieran Camp. You know, you had a, a possibly an Israelite so-called pastor. You know, and also, you know, speaking to the Rosh, uh, one of the heads here in D.C., the D.C. church, you know, Zion Allah, who was talking about, you know, basically the, the, that lineage, man, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, just going in on, on how the covenant was, was passed down, okay? The, that covenant that the Lord made with Abraham was passed down to, to Isaac and then to Jacob, man, you know, from from Isaac to Jacob, from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob, and then you know, being the being those chosen those chosen vessels to continuing to pass that on. Because when you look at the circumstances, there was always, um, you know, for example, when you read about uh, Abraham, he had Ishmael and Isaac, but Isaac was the one that the Lord chose. And when you had when Isaac had uh, Jacob and Esau, the Lord chose Jacob over Esau. You know, that's why the scriptures say put he put by Esau, or that means rejected Esau, right? And, um, you know, when you when you read the scriptures, what happens after Jacob? He has his, his sons and such, right? And, you know, you had the 12, and you had Joseph, you had Ephraim and Manasseh, they were added on, right? So, but essentially, there was always a chosen, you know? And that covenant was passed down to a specific lineage or line of people. That stuff that, that those see those words aren't something just to look over, because what's written is 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 all about uh, inheritance and it's all hereditary, man. It's all literal blood. There's no such thing as a spiritual uh, seed. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense, you know? Um, Bay, hey, what do you? What do you? That's what you do. That's what you run into dealing with the Christian Church. I mean, they believe that the Lord was born by uh, uh, that they believe that the Holy Spirit physically inseminated Mary, like you know, or spiritually, whatever. That madness, man. That's not. Those things are not true. So this is just the madness you run into dealing with the so-called Christian Church because they're not the real Christians anyway. But nonetheless, you know, it's just harping on the point that what um, it's the physical. It's it is a physical thing, but in these times, I will say before I you know read, I don't want to ramble, but in in these times, we don't none of us have physical documentation to prove that we are of this tribe and this lineage. Obviously, we don't have the physical evidence to prove exactly what stock we come from, but we know through the scriptures that we are the sons of uh, you know. Uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We come from that specific lineage. We know that we do. All right, through the Spirit, through the Scriptures, because of the prophecies written within the Scriptures and the different things that you know happen unto us. We go into the Scriptures and realize, wow, we are the we fit the description of the Israelites. So we are them. We are they. Okay. So let me start off with Genesis twenty-eight thirteen through fourteen. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father. And the God of Isaac. He's talking to, uh, let's see, yeah. It says, The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the south, and to the east and to the north, Salakia, and to the south, and in, in, and in thee, and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Now, does that mean? That the reason why all the families of the earth are going to be blessed because they can make they can make it and they can take part as covenant. No, that's not what that's talking about. Okay, you know, uh, first off, the covenant. There's a reason why he said um, he's gonna he's gonna give it to his seed, who Jacob's seed, Israelites, because Jacob's name was later changed to Israel, right? 
which means Joshua Allah. He is the Prince of God. And Salaki, if you hear noise in the background, I'm in transit while I'm making this lesson. But nonetheless, right? Like I was saying, that um, the that it was still given to uh, Jacob's seed, his lineage. It's not given to everybody. Okay. The, the 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 rest of these the rest of the nation's blessing will they'll get a blessing when what when after they've served their captivity they get to be under righteous rule that's what that's what they that's what the nations are gonna get out of us all right a righteous rulership okay they get to live under some righteous uh, law statutes and commandments okay they'll get to you know hey the heathen will have uh, clean air water food multiple wives you know peace right. But nonetheless, the, the covenant of immortality and the covenant of being in rulership is only with the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that's according to the Bible. All right, so let me jump to Romans uh, 7 to 13. It says, Neither because they are seed of Abraham are they all children, right? But in Isaac shall thy seed be called, because Abraham, he had Isaac and Ishmael. Now, the Ishmaelites of the so called Arabs today, are they going to partake in immortality? No, they're not. You know? Hey, they wanted to partake. Well, this isn't why, but, you know, they partook in putting us in slavery. So much for brotherly love, right? And same with Esau, right? He's, he's supposed to be our brother, but, you know, he what? He did all these things to us. So anyway, though, the covenant, though, is, is only with uh, the Lord's chosen people. What? It's because Isaac uh, and Ishmael were brothers, right? Those are Abraham's sons. But the Lord decided to... to, to Continue on his covenant with Isaac, not Ishmael. Yeah, Ishmael received a blessing, but he didn't get the covenant. You know, that's why they can't partake in this. That's why they can't come to the truth. You know, that's why they can't come and receive the truth of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's why they have their their own religion. They have their own false god. They have their own false prophet. You know, let them have it. You know, that's theirs. Let them. That's their inheritance, man. Falsehoods. All right. We'll, we'll stick to the truth. Salakia. Which is, uh, what? This wisdom knowledge understanding, man. Even the scriptures say that the dwelling place for wisdom is um, Jacob. You know, when wisdom was made, what is, it chose dwelling with Jacob. Okay? It says, that is, they which are the children of the flesh, they are not the children of the Most High. Right. Yeah, because uh, uh, Ishmael still came from Abraham's loins. But did that make him chosen? No. He, Ishmael can't receive salvation, right? It says, uh, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Right. The children of the promise, who, are the, who is that? The descendants of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <clears throat> That's the physical seed, man. You can't overlook it. Yes, it's in these times, everything is spiritual. But you can't be grafted into the tribe of Judah if you're an Edomite. You know, <laughs> you can't do that. You know, it's impossible. You can't. You know, it's just it's, it is physical. It is about the flesh. It's not about how you look, but you still have to be a physical descendant. That's why we say, if you believe in this one hundred percent truth, no matter what you look like, you would have to be a physical descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, because that's what the Lord is dealing with. Let me keep reading. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed, for this is the word of promise. At this time will I come. And Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High according to election might stand. Right. Because we, um, when, you, when you read the story of, of uh, Isaac having Jacob and Esau, the Lord chose... Jacob before they even came out the womb and put by Esau you see that's why it's the purpose of election might sin that's why it says that because the Lord just has a chosen man he just decided to, to continue his covenant with uh, Jacob and his descendants and not Esau and his descendants because yeah Esau has a family he has descendants he has tribes but they were born to play a different role than us you see, they were chosen for something else. We were just the, 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 the people that the Lord chose to, to be righteous. You know, we were just the ones called. You're the ones chosen to be kings and priests as a nation. Which will be fulfilled in the kingdom of heaven. 
Salakia, you know. But yet, the the covenant, the promises is with us, man. That's the lineage, that's the chosen, you know. And usually when we when we, we usually, usually when I talk about these points, I like to just go and hit the points with Psalms one oh five uh and Hebrews eight. But you know, this is just going this is for the, those that are more studious, man. You know, to, to, to read a little more. You know, to, to read other scriptures to further prove the point. You know, let's hit the oracles, hit hit the papers, man. You know? Prove you know, we gotta prove all things, man. It says not of works, right? Because it wasn't of works, you know. A, a Isaac uh, was just who the Lord wanted to continue with. He just chose Isaac over Ishmael, and it was all through the Spirit. That's why people gotta a lot of Israelites gotta be more spiritual, man. You gonna sit there and get mad and think that the Lord is unfair because He chose Jacob over Esau? How, how much of a fool can you be, you know? Anyway, uh, continuing on, this is Spirit. It says. Um, not of works, but of him that called. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Right. That's why, that's why I made that statement. That, I, uh, you know, Jacob was chosen uh, before they were, you know, when they were in the womb. It says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Right. And that's just according to the Lord. That's how he wanted to play it out. You know, who are we to say anything about that? We're just happy enough to be of the chosen lineage. Okay. Because what it, a lot of people like to claim, I also want to say, a lot of people like to claim Abraham um, when it comes down to heathen making it. But it's like, but what? How? If it, even when when the Lord spoke to Abraham, He never told him anything about these other nations making it. I, I didn't read that part. I don't think that's in there. Okay, this is Sirach forty four verses nineteen through twenty two. Abraham was a great father of many people, right? And glory was there none like unto him, right? Who kept the law of the Most High, and was and and was in covenant with Him? He established the covenant in His flesh, and when He was proved, He was found faithful. Right? You know, which that we're mirroring. By the way, that's how. You, that's another thing too. We're mirroring Abraham's walk. You know what Abraham did physically. We're doing it spiritually. You know, the Lord came to us out of nowhere, called us out of a household where we probably worshipped idols, let's be real, to a land where we don't, we never seen before with our eyes, right? And the Lord is telling us He's going to bless us with, with abundance and riches and different things. And we're mirroring the walk of our forefather, Abraham, you know? Because Abraham was, was uh, came from a household of, of men that were worshipping idols. But he was found faithful. Because what Abraham was circumcised at the age of ninety, you know, he was, you know, he was uh, called out of a household of idol worshippers and, and, and called into a land he didn't even know about, right? He didn't even know it. Okay, and what he was found faithful, and that's the same walk that we're on today, just in spirit, because we were called out of a, a wicked world, and you know, we're now uh, uh, putting off the, the wicked works of our flesh, you know. And we're what? Heading into the kingdom of heaven. Uh, something we've never seen before, you know, but we, but we believe in it, right? The, uh, verse 21, therefore he assured him by an oath that he would bless the nations in his seed and that he would multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed as the stars. Yeah, his seed. It's a very specific seed line that he's talking about. Got a lot of demons out here in Salakia. Someone almost hit him in transit. Nonetheless, I mean, I'm continuing on. It says, and exalt his seed as the stars, and cause him to inherit from sea to sea, from the river to the uttermost, to the utmost part of the land. Right? Because that's the promise given to his seed. Now, is that promise to Ishmael? No. The seed that it keeps talking about, when it says seed, it doesn't mean everybody else on earth. It's talking about a specific seed line. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? We read it up earlier, man. It says, verse 22, with Isaac... Did he establish likewise for Abraham, his father's sake, the blessing of all men, and the covenant, and it ma and made it rest upon the head of Jacob? He acknowledged him in his blessing, and gave him an heritage, and divided his portions among the twelve tribes. Did he part them? Right. That's chose. That's it right there. The point is that verse twenty-two, man, because you see things like blessing of all men. And you think that's talking about... No, that's talking about within the nation of, of, of... Within our nation, you know? 
Because a lot of people like to say, oh, Abraham, you know, like to claim Abraham. Well, let me tell you this, right? Abraham was not like a heathen. Abraham was still of a lineage of a, of a specific lineage too. Okay, he was all he was a son of God because back then, before Israel and the Israelites, you had the the, the, the portions of men. You had the sons of men, which were like the nations the nations today, the sons of the wicked, which is like the Edomites today, and then you had the sons of God, which is like Israel and the Israelites today. Because the sons of God, they followed a specific uh, also set of law, statutes, and commandments, so to speak, and we know those things through the Spirit, man. All right, that's why you know men like uh, Noah uh, knew how to sacrifice. That's why Jacob knew how to how to make an altar and sacrifice because there were things that we knew back then when we were just known as the sons of God. Okay, be the hope having a, being in a having a priesthood is not something new that came about when Levi was born and and then the Levites. No, there was something before that, and even now there's a priesthood where all tribes are in. All right, but what you know, going even deeper, I don't want to get off track. So lock it, but you know, this is this all ties in, man. That's why we talk so much about these things. It all ties into it. All this stuff pertains to us. You can read the whole Romans the ninth chapter, the, the top, the top beginning of Romans nine lets you know who the covenant and everything is for. It's Israel. All right, and this also proved it right here. It says he acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him an heritage and divided his portions among the twelve tribes that he part them. Right. What the land The law such as the commandments Was only given to us You know The instruction on how to please Yahweh Shem Yahweh Was given to us And it began You know That that whole thing What began uh, Of course going in even deeper It began with Adam You know And the cho- he was chosen Among all the people too Right Well you know Later on you, you got Abraham Isaac And Jacob That's a specific lineage Which the Lord is dealing with All right because it is about the physical seed. We just don't have the records to prove we are the physical seed. But we know in spirit we are. The, through the scriptures we know we are. Alright, so I, I hope this video was edifying. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Akakudash. Double honors to my elders and apostles, a great millstone. Which are the men that rule well, men who taught us this truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations as always be unto the elect. Shalom.